Good morning, everybody. Boy, it's time for Morning Manor. It's happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. It's hump day. It's the mid time of the week. It is the midday of the week, and I hope you're getting ready for the balance of a great week. And you will if you get some manner in you. Get some manner in you. It's always the text, the talk, and the takeaway. I want to give Facebook Live a half a second to get our audience together, and then we're going to jump right into this morning's manner. You already know the drill. If you're part of the morning manner fam, you know the drill. You got the text, the talk, the takeaway. You got to share. You got to send the hearts. You got to send the likes. And you got to let everybody know the revelation that you're getting. If it's your first, second, or third time, let us know so we can shout you out. Let's get right into this morning's manner. Have you ever had a setback? Have you ever had a setback? Have you ever been rocked back on your heels to the point? Will I ever get a comeback? Here it is. Here it is. I need you to get this. How do I bounce back from a setback? Here's the text. John 21 and 5. Here it is. It's a little different. I want you to get it. It says, friends, have you any fish yet? They answered, no, we don't. Here is Jesus after the crucifixion, asking the disciples, have they caught any fish? Now, wait a minute. Why are they fishing anyhow? Why? Because they have a setback. Jesus was crucified and they still haven't gotten over the fact, even though they have seen Jesus. And that tells me right there, this is for free. That tells me right there that even though you have seen Jesus, you can still deal with a setback. Even though they've seen Jesus, they do something that I need you to get so that you can bounce back from your setback. The first thing that you got to get in the talk is follow the right person. In verse three, Peter said, I'm going fishing. Now, that's not what Jesus told them to do. He says, go see me in Galilee. Go, I'm going to find you there. But, G, but, but Peter said, hey, I'm going fishing. And the rest of them went fishing too. So when you're in a setback, make sure you follow the right person. Here's the second thing that you got to bounce back from your setback. You got to follow the right instructions. Jesus asked them in verse five, says, hey, have you caught any fish? No, we haven't. In verse six, Jesus told them, he says, look, throw your net on the other side. You've been fishing all night and you've been doing things the way you want to do them. That's why you're in your setback. You got to follow the right instructions. They threw their net on the other side, called 153 large fish. Here's the third thing. To bounce back from your setback, follow through. Remember, Jesus told them, he says, look, I want to meet you in Galilee. And they went fishing because they had a setback, even though they had seen Jesus. And in verse 19, Jesus still told them, follow me. To get out of your setback, you still got to follow him, no matter how far back your setback is. He's the way out of it. Jesus is. Okay, here's your takeaway this morning. Here's your takeaway this morning. Your takeaway is this. Setbacks are set up to get more of God. You have a setback so that you are set up so that you will get more of God to come out of your situation. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. The Lord bless you today. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. Share the manner. Share the revelation. Bounce back from your setback. Bye now. God bless you.